G'day everyone, my name is Gary and today we are going to have a closer look at the iCode student login and uh, portal environment. It's going to be really, really interesting because the iCode hackathon uh, is a global uh, competition and it has been running for a few years now. Uh, it is really, really popular and uh, it involves kids from ages 6 all the way up to 16. You can learn with uh, Blockly or Python and uh, it is just a really, really fun competition. Uh, of course, with this competition, uh, it is individual, so uh, students can participate from home. And uh, it also includes uh, the training material, webinars, and uh, a really fun game to play as well, to learn how to code with Blockly or to code with Python for the older students. So without further ado, let's jump in. So here uh, we have our environment. Over here, you can see that we have our announcements on the side here. These announcements can tell you uh, when the competition dates are and also when is your uh, webinar or uh, any other of those competition details. Uh, of course, this competition is a global competition. So if you become in, uh, if you score well in the top 10% of your region, then you can advance to a higher level of competition where the top 10% of that goes to the next level as well. So uh, very, very competitive and uh, super fun to do as well. Uh, of course, up the top here, you can uh, access your, uh, your account details to change your account name. Uh, and also over here, you can change your language from English to Chinese. Okay, so if I switch it to Chinese, then you will see that all of my uh, uh, interface turns into Chinese as well. Okay, so let's have a uh, look at our basic um, uh, exercises. When we press go on basic one, so here, uh, this is the, um, the last mission that I was working on, but I can also go back to complete a previous mission as well. So you can see here, I get three stars. If I fully complete the mission, I only get one star if I uh, complete it partially. Uh, and we're going to talk about how those stars work in a moment as well. So let's have a look at some uh, an easy level. So here we have Dev. Dev is our astronaut that we're trying to rescue, and uh, he's trying to find his way back home, so he needs to collect all his spaceship parts. Now, when we go um, uh, Dev, um, uh, have a look at Dev here, uh, we see an item is three steps away. So one, two, three steps away. So we can tell Dev to do three steps. When I press, press the run key, then Dev will collect the item and uh, it says well done. Okay, now this is how the stars work. You get a star for completing the mission, but then you get uh, additional stars for actually using your code efficiently. So this is rewarding students for uh, best practices when they are uh, doing their code. So they're not writing too many lines of code or too many blocks of code, uh, and that they are uh, being as efficient as they can uh, using things like loops and functions. Okay, so uh, if I have a look at another uh, another level, maybe a slightly harder one. Okay, so here uh, Dev needs to uh, turn towards the right. So you he see here that Dev, he's actually facing the wrong way. So our first um, maneuver should be to switch him to face towards the right hand side, okay, which is to get uh, to look towards this item. So over here we have all of our coding blocks. And these coding blocks uh, will gradually uh, be unlocked as the student uh, continues through their lesson. So here, we're just going to get Dev to turn towards the right. And then we get him to move our three steps. What if I don't do the three steps? What if I just go one, uh, two steps? Then what's going to happen is when you press run, you can see uh, the result of your code through this animation. When you press run, he turns towards the right, but then uh, he doesn't uh, reach the energy boost. So that sh tells you that we need to do some more work. Okay, so here uh, I've done two steps. I need to make another two steps out here. Got another two steps here. 
I press run. Uh, finally got my um, got my booster. But you can see here that I am missing a star. Okay, I only got two of the three um, uh, achievements because I used an extra block. Here it's telling me that I should be able to do this with two blocks of code instead of three blocks. So I can try that again. So oh, how do I reduce the number of blocks? Well, I can just remove one block and then change this to four. Now this is going to make it so that I can achieve this mission with the full three stars. Really, really cool. Now this all looks very simple for now, but as the missions get harder and harder, and remember there are dozens of missions here, uh, these harder missions become much more tricky and uh, even for uh, experienced programmers uh, you'll find that this is going to get much harder to achieve. So here uh, not only does Dev need to um, uh, collect your uh, items, you also can ride on the spaceship and uh, do different things with that. Really, really cool. Now let's have a look at our Python code. So same thing as before when we hit back. Oh, and also you, uh, when you get three stars for a level, then uh, you can uh, you you save those three stars. So you can redo it over and over again, uh, but um, you'll get your highest score. Okay. Now during the uh, the competition, uh, the webinars will all be about re revolve around the different uh, missions and uh, the different uh, starting programs. And you can see that we just did two or three different challenges. Uh, but uh, look at all these stars, like each mission has three stars. So here there's like um, uh, 20 missions for basic, and then there are 50 missions for programming, then there's another 90 missions like for, uh, for your education, and another uh, 30 missions for Blockly. So a very, uh, there's a lot of activities here when you join the um, the competition and you're not going to run out of uh, material very early. You're, you're going to be spending a lot of time practicing and learning how to do it. And of course the actual competition is going to be harder. It's going to be harder than uh, all of these uh, basic competitions, I mean basic uh, activities. So let's have a look at Python. So the Python story is almost exactly the same, except we have to actually code in Python. Now even though we are coding in Python, it doesn't mean that we have to write everything from scratch, because I know that a lot of starting students, they might not be very comfortable with typing out code right at the start, which is why we can actually use these uh, aid blocks here as well. So if I wanted to make a new line and ask dev to um, uh, move forward, then I can just click on dev and then you can see that it starts typing for me. Okay, This is just a tool so that uh, even students who are not comfortable with typing or who are unable to type, they can just use a pointing device to do most of this code. Here I just clicked on step and then it types in my step method here for me. All I have to do is type in my um, uh, my uh, parameters in the middle here. And now I click on run and then it highlights each line of code as I uh, go through. Okay, Same parameters as well. Uh, when I score the mission I get a star but then uh, it also marks me based on my efficiency of my code as well. Now during competition the uh, the number of stars you get will directly affect how far in the competition you get. So you need to uh, score well uh, in order to uh, be very competitive uh, in in this uh, in this tournament stage. Okay let's have another look at another example. So if I go to another level uh, I'll, just, I'll be able to click on dev, whoops, I need to start a new line, I can click on dev to start typing dev and then I can click on step and of course I can also type here as well. All right? It's uh, it's all still normal and if I have errors in my code just like this, if I go 
dev step. Of course, this uh, devs doesn't exist. If I press run, then it will tell me exactly where my error is. Just like a, um, uh, a Python IDE, it will be able to tell me where my typing um, has gone wrong so that the student can start looking for the typing mistakes as well. All right. Other than the actual game, we also have uh, some other tools uh, to help the students learn Python and learn Blockly. So here we have our level map, but also we have our instructions on how the game works, uh, how to skip levels or how to uh, redo levels, and to uh, give us hints on to um, uh, excelling with this project. There's also uh, a bit of a knowledge review where you can look at different uh, capabilities that you've unlocked. And then also the story, the enthralling story of Dev and his spaceship. And, and this video, uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you, is pretty awesome as well. So that's it guys, that's our first look into the student platform for the iCode competition. I can't wait to get this started and if you're interested, make sure you drop me a message. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.